Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this week's Oracle card guidance uh, uses the saltwater reading cards and we have three items here. Uh, this is a compass and this is uh, uh, some kind of petrified matter from the ocean and this is a shell. So go ahead and uh, make a selection. I will begin the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the compass here, we're asking what is it that we've come here to hear this week? What is the guidance that we need to have at this moment? And what's going to help us along in this week? And we have the card Penguins here. So I'm going to go ahead and read the excerpt from the book um, because I'm kind of curious as to what it says. And then I'm going to channel a message that is especially for you. So the card is titled number 21 and it reads Penguins and the, the caption here is Trust. The fairy penguin is the smallest of the penguins. They cannot fly because their wings have evolved over millions of years into flippers. They are excellent swimmers and they move through the water with the same gracefulness that other birds display in the sky. But by using their tails as a rudder instead of wings, fairy penguins are the smallest penguins and are approximately 30 centimeters tall. Fairy penguins are the only penguins that nest on the mainland of Australia. So I'm not going to read that whole ex excerpt there. I'm just going to uh, see if I can get to the actual message here. So I think I'm going to skip that bit and then just read this bit here for you. It says, trust is not about handing over your power to someone else to make decisions for you. It is about having people who love you and want to help you and support you in the choices you make. You trust them to be honest, open and supportive of you, especially in times where you need someone who can provide a safe haven, somewhere you can rest and repair. The Penguin is here to ask you today Sorry, it's here to ask you to look for a friend at this time that you can confide in, someone you can trust. So I find this a very interesting card. And um, I have to say that I I had a, a, a client that I spoke to yesterday to whom I gave this exact message. And I feel like right now, the time that we that we're in, we are required to place trust in people around us and that we are required to choose people or that can be with us that align with us and not people that have a different energy vibration because people who do not believe in you right now will drag you down this is such a an interesting and powerful time of manifestation and i feel like in order to be able to manifest um you need to be able to have people around you that you can trust as well as to be able to trust yourself in making the decision to align yourself with those people who have similar vibrations to yourself. I feel that this card um, suggests that we need to identify who and what around us does not actually support us or believe in us or does or fails to see us as we need to be seen and just put them to the side of our lives right now you know remove them from our focus and from our priorities because right now what we're needing to do is really be able to trust in our future and it's as if these penguins are rallying themselves together because they are headed in a similar direction so they're riding this highway together at the moment and they they are going to a similar destination and you might find right now that you pick up people along the way that actually help you in your path or are there to give you good advice and are there to support you or they they encourage you they give you back the hope that you might have lost or they they have faith in you they see something in you they see your potential and it's these people that you need to surround yourself with right now, because those positive vibrations and that hope, that belief that you're having in yourself is actually what's going to carry you during this time. I feel like here uh, the message is actually that if you are able to trust, if you are able to um, identify who it is that you could trust and you are able to have the courage to be able to trust these people and bring them along on your path, that there is many happy moments ahead. So if you have a particular dream that you are heading towards or that you are wishing that you could start heading towards, it's time to bring some people on board to help you 
uh, achieve that, if not in an actual helping you build that goal or, or build uh, your, your path on the way there, but also just to be there for you to be able to be present in your life and to be able to simply see you because it really helps if you're seen and what I mean by that is is somebody who sees you for who you really are somebody who sees your potential somebody who sees how what an amazing being you are and somebody who sees all your strengths and weaknesses and your vulnerabilities and and is able to actually love you regardless of that they're able to accept you and regard uh, regardless of anything um, that might be, that you might think is negative about yourself or that others may not be able to accept you for it's somebody who's really able to have the faith in your potential and i think that many times what people tend to do is they tend to look in love relationships for that and there are times when people do find that their partner is the one who does see them but I think that nowadays there are many people who are not in relationships where their partner actually sees them. What you might find is that there's a friend who sees you in that way. It might be a colleague or an assistant that might see you in that particular way and have that respect for you and honor you. And you might not take that seriously because it's almost a part of yourself that's not really believing in your own worth and your own capacity. Very often in life, we make our decisions based on what others think. So if you're going along in your life, someone might say, oh, well, perhaps you won't be good at that. So you shouldn't go in that path, but you should go in this path. Or perhaps you should go in this path because it's safer for you to do so. Or they may tell you that you're not able to to create something or you're not able to achieve something because it would be outside of, um, of, of your capacity, of your capabilities. And I want to say that, you know, these naysayers, these people who sometimes have your best interests at heart, they simply don't have um, the knowledge of your entire capacity. And this is why they say these things. It's because they are not able to achieve it, because they are not able to see it, and they are not able to get to that place. It's about being able to really uh, root out those people, root out those voices that have been pushing you in a particular direction. Um, people can only see as far as they are their horizon you know, their own given horizon and their own experience in life. And if you're seeing further than them, don't listen or obey the wishes of someone whose horizon is not as far away as yours. Um, yeah, I know I'm not saying that in the most eloquent manner. But what I mean is that, you know, don't sh stop short on your dreams because there are other people around you that don't believe in them. Okay, or they are worried, you know, because that's just fear that's fueling these people. You know, many people talk about um, being rational, being pragmatic, and uh, doing what is necessary. But one needs to be able to differentiate between pragmatism and, um, and rationality. Sometimes you need to be able to take risks. Sometimes you need to be able to have that extra courage um, to be brave enough to, to step out of the box, to be able to do something better, to be able to do something good, to be able to fulfill your own potential. So I feel like this card here is telling me, well, align yourself with those people who are going to make sure that you achieve your potential and go with that and say no to the naysayers. Eradicate those people from your life. You don't, it doesn't mean that you need to stop talking to them or having a relationship with them. But right now, as you go along in this week and in this time ahead, you need to be able to um, arrange yourself or align yourself with people who have... Um, similar goals to you and who have the similar vibrations to you and who are able to see you in a light that is that of your greatest potential. I was quite um, taken by the sentence here that says, you trust them to be honest, open and supportive of you, especially in times when you need someone who can provide a safe haven, somewhere you can rest and repair. So if you are in that situation where you actually are feeling like you're needing someone to just be there for you as you rest and repair, as you restore yourself, because you're feeling a bit vulnerable, because you're feeling a bit exhausted, because you're unwell, and this person's making future plans for you, they're making plans for how you're going to go ahead based on your capacity at the moment, 
and you're feeling down about that, don't feel down about that. Simply um, shut out those voices and and think about or incorporate people into your life who are, who are able to hear you and able to see you in this particular light. So I want to urge you, for those of you who are actually in this situation, to simply don't listen to the naysayers. And I feel like um, the number 21 here is almost telling me that it's time for you to go on and build your life. It's time you're ready. You, you're no longer learning. You're no longer in an early stage. You're no longer having to acquire experience here you are ready to start building and you might not feel like you're able to build this week necessarily but as the weeks go on you will find that uh, many opportunities avail themselves for you and that you are able to do that and you can do that most likely in conjunction with people who uh, have similar minds and similar ideas there's a lot of positivity in these cards and there's a lot here that um, well, this card, not these cards, but in in this card with all these these colors here, and it, it feels to me like you know a lot can go really well for you right now, and um, that you can actually repair yourself if you've been feeling a little bit broken, or if you've been feeling like you've needed to do a bit of work on yourself. So that's my message for those of you who've chosen the option number one today. I wish you all a very blessed time, and we'll see you next week, hopefully. For those of you who have chosen the second option here, we're asking what is it that you've come to hear this week? What is your weekly guidance? And what can you take from this reading today? What's going to help you as you go along? So how apt is this? We have starfish for what was potentially a starfish in its past um, life. I think this is incredible. So, and it has the number 33. So I'm going to go ahead and read from the book. I'm going to go ahead and read the excerpt from the book. So it reads here, card 33, starfish. The caption is symbols. The starfish or the sea star, as they are called, comes in various shapes and colors, but the majority are shaped as five pointed stars. The star is a symbol with a long association to the five elements of fire, water, air, earth, and spirit. When joined, these elements form the basis for magic. The star is a symbol of power, protection, and purpose. So I'm going to skip this bit here and I'm going to just read the message. The message from the starfish is one of synchronicity, the little symbols and signs we are shown each and every day. The starfish encourages you to pay attention now and take note of any seeming coincidences, repetitive symbols or patterns because the universe or loved one is trying to get a message to you, but you need to pay attention. So as I picked this card today, I knew that it was going to be quite a vibrant card, quite a, um, a magnanimous card, quite a... Um, a robust feeling here and this card is, is suddenly an affirmation of that for you it almost th feels like things are going to be going in different directions it's going to be moving along quite quickly but there's going to be a certain control over it it's almost like you have it under control and you suddenly become aware of more of your abilities to be able to, to do many things at once, to be able to juggle, to be able to multitask. I feel like uh, things are also draw, perhaps drawing you in different directions this week as you go along. And you're going to be able to find that you are able to manage it all. But you can go ahead and make choices if you need to. I want to say that you might be feel proud of yourself by the end of the week because you're going to find that you manage the week fairly well. And it's going to feel like you've made some headway and this is going to give you a sense of being more um, secure in yourself in terms of how you manage things. So if you work in a, um, in a high intensity environment, um, you're going to find that you'll be able to manage a bit better this week. And as you go along, um, uh, you're going to find that it's not been as bad as it has been in the last months or years even. Um, you're going to find that you have um, discovered something 
about yourself which delights you and it's like you have this capacity and that delights you and makes you feel more confident it makes you feel more secure in yourself and it's almost like a surprise to you the message from the card talks about synchronicity and i feel like as far as synchronicity is concerned here um that you will be able to find that there are more messages coming through to you from the universe. There are more signs as to which direction you need to go into. But more importantly, there are more signs as to when not to proceed. So I want to say here, um, it's easy to go about and do a whole lot of different things in different directions. But it's more difficult when there's so much of noise to be able to actually hear when you need not to do something or when you need to stop and when you need to keep um, your boundaries from um, with regard to other things or other people or when it's too much and you need to take a step back because it's it's going to be too much i also get the sense here that you're extremely intuitive right now and that you will be guided um, to where you need to look for these symbols often when we get messages from the universe and we are able to identify them it is also a reminder of how intuitive we are we are and how we are always connected to the universe and how we need no only be available or open to hearing the messages that are there. There is a sense here that new light is being born uh, on a regular basis and that this light is part of the service um, that you are part of, um, as in the service to humanity or the service to this planet. And there's a sense here that... Um, one needs to be uh, gracious as far as that is concerned. One needs to be celebrating that, that there are more like-minded people coming to the world um, and that it's going to make our lives easier uh, because we're going to be working together to create our new reality. There is a sense here that there is an ancient feeling of, um, of, of intuitiveness, of connection, and that all is connected from that which has been 500 years ago or 50 years ago uh, to what is will be created in 50 years from now or 500 years from now. There's a sense of being connected to everything um, that comes from this card. And if you are able to find a moment in your busy week as you go along to just simply sit down and meditate and connect to an energy from the past and connect to an energy from the future, you might be able to find some more messages there in terms of what you need and how you need to go along um, in your life, as well as your relevance and the meaning of your current life. The feeling of connection that one might experience is something that uh, allows one to connect to people who've passed on as people that you're close to that have passed on or people that you are aware of that have passed on. It allows you also to connect to those that are unborn. So um, be aware of that as you go along and when you decide to, to, if you decide to do this meditation. As far as I can see, it feels like quite a busy week ahead and just like you're moving in many different directions, um, being pulled in different directions and simply but keeping it all together and feeling quite successful um, afterward. So I wish you all a fantastic week as you go along and um, many, many blessings to you all. So for those of you who have chosen the third option here, we are asking, what is it that you need to know as we go along in this week? What is it that you need to know as you go along in this week? What is the information that you've come here to hear? And what's going to help you as you go along in this week? So I'm going to choose the cards a little differently today. Can you intuit which one I'm going to choose? So the synchronicity in this reading today is just, I find quite amusing. So we have seashells here and we have a seashell and the previous option was also fairly connected. Um, so it's the number 29 
and I'm going to go ahead like I have with the other options and read the excerpt from the book and then I'm going to channel a message for you. So the card reads Seashells Guidance and says Australia is home to hundreds of different seashells which were all once home to the different sea creatures that lived inside of them. Once the creatures have moved on, outgrown or have been eaten, their shell will make its way to rest empty upon the sand carried there by the waves. I'm just going to skip this bit here. I'm going to read the message. Seashells also remind us that often we already know what action is needed, or what the bigger picture is. But for many reasons, we don't trust our instincts. We question our intuition and doubt our ability to guide ourselves through challenging situations. Seashells encourage us to trust and not dismiss our inner voice and feelings when we are seeking guidance. Often we already have all of the answers we seek. We just have to allow our soul the chance to speak. And the caption here is guidance, okay? In case I haven't said that already. There is an air of simplicity around the, the shell and the, and the seashells. It's a sense of... Um, being one with all, being open to listening and being able to sit down and and just take in nothingness in order to be part of the world as opposed to being in a rat race and scuttling around and running from one thing to the other. There's meaning in being still, in being relaxed and in being open there's meaning in having a blank slate, but not just so you can fill it with something different, which is an expression of one's own individuality, but rather simply to be. Simply to be so that one can be a part of the world without stirring too much. God hears guidance and it talks about being open to all um, that offers guidance to everything in the world. And I feel like the wisdom that's being sought here for some of you is ancient wisdom. So I would suggest that you would um, look at, you know, ex well, explore some of the thoughts that you have already and go in and pick up a library book or go online and read perhaps or learn about uh, the ancient cultures that you might be drawn to if that is your, if you are drawn to something like that right now. And read about it because you probably can find that there's a message in there for you. Something that you need to hear right now. There is wisdom, long lasting, eternal wisdom that applies to those who lived 5,000 years ago and applies to us who live now and will apply to those who live in the future. And right now they are asking you to be still so that you can hear this guidance and hear what is being spoken to you. There is a message in this book which I actually hadn't read to you but I want to read it to you now because I feel it's um, in accordance with the with the message that I've just given you. It reads here, by sitting quietly and concentrating we can hear the messages from our heart. When seashells appear we are encouraged to find that quiet space inside us where our spirit can speak and we can hear and understand it. So I feel that really um, sums up what I've been, what my message is here for you today. It's really about being able to, it's really about just being able to be silent so you can hear what needs to come to you. And sometimes just being silent for the sake of being silent and being one with the world without too many thoughts without too many observations, without any judgments. It feels to me right now that a simplicity is required, that there's a sense of exhaustion, that it's time to settle, like it's time to just keep it simple, uh, walk away from any complications, and just um, trust that it all will be fine, even if you do that. So if you are feeling like walking away from something, or if you're feeling like taking a vacation, um, if you're feeling like just simply, simply sitting outside in the sun, 
go ahead and do that. Um, this is a sign for you to be able to do that. It is a sign for you to just connect to that, which is uh, the essence of this planet or this earth or life itself, rather than to quotidian matters. In this card, there may be a tendency to want to overthink things as well as um, pay great attention to wounds that you have and um, be absorbed by that. But this card is talking about simply ignoring that, accepting it, surrendering to it and moving on to an experience that is beyond that, that is other than that which are your wounds or what um, you might have experienced in the past. I get that that is not an easy thing to do. Um, however, that is the message of this card. Well, that is my guidance for you for this week. Um, I hope that that has helped you. And I hope that as you go along, you are going to find the guidance and you are going to be able to connect in the way that you need to in order for you to be able to um, fully experience what this week has to give you. So that's it for me. I'm wishing you all a very blessed week as you go along. May you remain healthy and safe and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.